right? So let's let's go online and I'll show you I'll show you how you can figure out what the actual azimuth of your modules are or will be. Um, so let's just go back to uh, Google Maps again. I'm not affiliated with Google. And let's go. We are here at Random Street. And to spice up the exercise a little bit, let's find a house that has solar modules. There's one. Right, so this is a, it's, this seems like a grid tight. I'm assuming it's a grid tight solar energy system. And it's got a fair amount of solar modules on three sides and three locations on the roof. So let's say we want to know the azimuth of the modules that are pointing south. Um, so there's different ways in which you can do this. Uh, of course, there's plenty of websites online where you can uh, calculate the azimuth of, um, of certain objects. Uh, but I just wanted to show you two relatively easy ways. The, the first one is kind of quick and dirty. So if you're here in Google Maps, uh, if you press and hold or if you right click, you can now measure right and we're not really measuring but i just want to have a reference point so we are drawing a line in parallel to your modules so we're drawing that line and then we're also drawing a line to the absolute north and then once you have this you can take if you have them one of these really simple protector tools right so they measure a zero to 180 degrees so you take this and then you lay it flat on the what you have just measured and it's somewhere in the 160 165 degrees range right so this is quick and dirty it's not really exact uh, but it will give you a fair idea of what the azimuth is or what you can also do um, there's an uh, there's plenty of tools out there i'm using an open source piece of software all right let him shut up for a second i just want to explain to you that the content of this video is copied from the complete course of energy systems if this information is enough for you great if you want to learn more and if you want to get access to the complete course then check the information in the description below all right you go ahead again uh, which is a, a digital protractor right i'll share the resources to this video so if you're interested you can get it as well i'm not affiliated with the the person that has designed this and it is to my understanding that it's open open source um so what i can do now is i can take this protector and just put it there and then align the arrow with the uh, direction of the panels and there you go it's somewhere around 164 165 degrees right so this means that the the azimuth of the uh, these solar modules on this side of the roof at the moment is around somewhere around in the 164 degrees range relative to absolute north and this is an important one as well that is relative to absolute north because of course you can also take your compass and walk outside and this is also a fair indication but remember that there's a difference between absolute north and the magnetic north so there's also always a certain amount of fluctuation depending where you are on the world there's a fluctuation in the magnetic field whereby most of the times the magnetic north is not the same as the uh, as the absolute north so that was just a fun exercise a small excursion